Yeah, All right. Welcome to Milrocka PDX. We are back in control with the game control by Remedy Software. This is Tony commenting, and behind the controls is Daniel. Hey, everybody. So it looks like we are um, tasked to find Marshall, one of the managers in the Bureau of Control. Located somewhere inside of the parapsychology wing research slash parapsychology, which is the largest open level. Maybe. I guess there's possibly one that's bigger, but it's got more going on inside it, I guess. Alright. You have to destroy, destroy those, those uh, three, three cubes. cubes. And you gotta do them before they regenerate. Nope, right there. You can just shoot it. It did it! Wow! She's in trouble. I need to reach her. Did you get levitate? I don't remember all the powers you have now. I don't think so, no. Maybe I have to get levitate. Okay. Got yeah, two uh, explosive things you can throw. Or oh, sure you just take them out with the writing board. Do not get the. Oh, Alright. First try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the Dark Souls of Brutalism architecture. So there's like stuff all over this place. Should be able to find some things. Some of it might be locked off, um, potentially, um, by the need of certain powers, possibly. I don't know if the music chills. Oh no, there's a guy definitely down there. I can't remember if uh, 
the music won't chill if uh, the control point isn't cleared. Or if it's just down to the number of enemy spawns. You really gotta watch out for those rockets, because you need like a pretty high level of the telekinesis to be able to stop those. Or you have to have like the shield. Uh, maybe maybe it still keeps the creepy music up until you do the control point. Or is there a control point in here? Maybe not. Not sure what you gotta do to clear this up. So in not applicable, interesting. I haven't seen a uh, AW18. Um, I haven't seen it formatted like that before. Details: transcript of call to the California State Emergency Services dispatcher 911. What is your emergency? Voice: Hello, hello. I'm here. Can you hear me? Dispatcher: I can hear you, ma'am. Where are you? I'm um, inside the wires. I'm lost, ma'am. Have you been drinking tonight? I feel like I'm stretching through the wire towards you. Don't hang up. I might go if you hang up. Go where, ma'am? Go gone. Away. Okay, can you describe your surroundings? Unknown noise. Ma'am, hello? Ma'am? No, dispatcher attempted to call the number back, but it was no longer in service. It's interesting. One of the things that I've kind of noticed is that, um, so not everything necessarily connects to something, at least yet. So even though this may not be directly referencing something that like will come up in the immediate game, um, Remedy has done a pretty good job of like tying things in retroactively, and it would just be kind of interesting to see if like something like that kind of came to life later. Can be an interesting and tricky thing to do, but uh, projectiles fired. Okay, so this is like literally not as good. You can, you can melt down the weaker ones. Uh, it doesn't look like you have anything to add to there. At least that's not strong. Okay. So, what do we do to clear this up or move forward? Whoa, hello! Oh, okay! Where did that guy come from? Okay, so you literally just had to kill this one last almost dead dude. And there's a control point. Ooh. Um, open the menu. I'm curious if... go to collectibles. Multimedia. Go to unread. Hit uh, triangle. Yeah, hit that one. The astral plane. It's similar to an iceberg, what you see is not what you always get. Regardless, this place is vitally important to the Bureau. Most information on the astral plane is, is classified, but we can talk in broad strokes, keeping in mind that these are staggeringly complex systems. And simplification does them no justice. Now, the white non-space, the ever-present inverted black pyramid, the board, all linked, intrinsically tied to the oldest house, tied to the director, the process of choosing a director, tied to all objects of power in terms of who controls them. Yes. All right. I think I've noticed it. This is just how the his coat has the like model loops. Yeah. The astral plane, similar to an iceberg. What you see is not what you always get. Regardless, this place is vitally important. Yeah. Yeah. Similar to an iceberg. What you see is not what you always get. 
Did you already? You activated yeah, that control point? Okay. Uh, Astral Constructs, see if you got an upgrade maybe? Oh, you can. can oh, no, quite, not quite. You might be able to. Could you upgrade one of your existing weapons? Yeah, you can upgrade a spin. Listen, don't you have the shotgun? Mm, that's the regular gun, isn't it? Wow, I'm confused by that. Oh, go back to the board countermeasures. Um, yeah, shatter. So you have it. Oh, oh maybe because you can, maybe you can't upgrade it, so it doesn't show up. Um, so you can upgrade. You can construct spin, which is like the um, submachine gun, where you can upgrade grip. And you can't quite construct pierce, so you probably can't even upgrade shatter, so it doesn't show. Yeah, it's the hand cannon. Mm-hmm. Fine, don't worry about it. I would totally ignore this. Um, it just it randomly gives you a mod. It's kind of weird. Go to no no back in. Go down and board. Uh, countermeasures. Um, so you can't. You don't have surge. You don't have pierce. Um, you might as well activate. Oh, I see. Wait a minute. Are these already activated? Go back up. Oh yeah. Uh, so um, hold on. Surge is the shotgun, right? So go ahead and keep that. Uh, get rid of pierce. You don't have that one. Okay. Then go down an executive. Con uh, oh no. Surge is the. Okay. Get rid of surge. All right. Activate uh, shatter because you have the shotgun. Yeah, and then executive maintenance, maintenance with. Okay, uh, and then there's research with snipers. Uh, sure. Since you're there, why not? Okay, that's good. All right, cool. The board. Enemy you can't destroy, you have to just outrun. You can't hurt it. Like, nothing will hurt it. So you need to grab that power up Or at least one of them. That'll just shut the barrier up. So, uh, you need to... Oh, yeah. Something these, yeah, yeah, okay, you can, you can see the, the two charger point sockets. I'm gonna put the uh, things in there. Put the power of the blocks. Don't let that get closer. So you see the batteries? You gotta put them in the sockets. Gotta the the batteries. There's one. Basically, you need to trap it. So if you uh, if you go through the, no, 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 you gotta go back out there. No, back out there. 
Oh, there's a thing over there. Process and best practices astral plane exhibition. Summary. The astral exhibition was originally built for the astronauts to use as a training location, a place to grow accustomed to the sights and sounds of the astral plane before diving into the real thing. We could have done a better job with it, but Redacted was being stingy with the budget. However, once we discovered the Redacted, we decided to repurpose the space, similar to how zoos hope for familiar surroundings will affect the well-being of the animals. We hope to observe the Redacted behavior in the environment similar to its home dimension. So far, it just breaks everything we put in with it. But Rome wasn't built in a day. Refer to file 319-3811 for full report. Addendum. New naming conventions have been established for the astral entity known as the Astral Spike. Outdated terms in this report have been redacted. Well, what did they used to call it? The Fluffy Bunny? Alright. So, you basically want to run through the big door and around to the control so that you can close it in there and then that'll trap it. That's just gonna shut the door for So you wanna run through that, make sure it's following you, and then go around the loop. And then uh, you'll wanna shut it uh, out there. Okay, go, 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 go. Nope, that one. Yeah. Oh nope, but it's not in there. See, you wanna you wanna get it in there. So you need to make sure it's following you in there. Damn it. What was the Bureau doing with that thing? Nice. Now that door is open. Okay. Marshall, are you still there? Shit. We're so close. We need to hurry. So those things heal the enemy. So you usually want to prioritize it. Or everything else will usually get healed before you can kill it. Well, not always, but... There you go.
can activate a new one. So that's survival tactics. I think it's um kill so many enemies without dying. Yeah, kill fifty without dying. Alright, where's that intercom? You changed your mission focus. Do you have to go back to the mission? Profile, field research on his entity, his cluster, confidential summary. His clusters are unique in that they are concentrated manifestations of his residence without the need of a host. His clusters are, deep, are dense spherical compressions of his residence that serve to support in the hierarchy of his entities. The clusters are capable of replenishing his host with infusions of resonance. This does not heal any physical damage inflicted on the organic host, but rather seems to rejuvenate them allowing them to endure more bodily harm than normally possible. The fact that the Hiss makes an effort to preserve its corrupted host underlines a level of awareness and discretion that was previously just speculation on my part. Can this entity be considered an individual or simply an extension of the Hiss as a whole? Capturing one alive would be quite interesting. Refer to file redacted for full report. There it is. Marshall, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Who is this? My name is Jesse Faden. I'm coming to help. Faden? Hold on. I'm sending the elevator for you. We need to talk. You got that right. More of you? Well, there is a massive alert. Document over there. There's a document on the table over there. Oh, yeah, just changed your mission thing. Skip the.
Processes and Best Practices Astronaut Program Summary. This report serves as an introductory guide to the astronauts program, including candidate requirements, training practices, and astral research procedures. Astronauts are chosen individuals who explore the document explore and document the astral plane by making physical contact with the X-ray light box, see case file OOB18 for details. In the hypo hypnosis lab, a section of the parapsychology division, physical and psychological training is vital for the repeated transition between planes known as dives. After each dive, astronauts must undergo a redacted session in cognitive recording chairs to record their experience in the plane. Gathered data has conclusively proven redacted, redacted within the astral plane vary widely between astronauts. On rare occasions, these dives can result in losses, often occurring with teams encounter aggressive astral entities. Refer to file 829-1838 for full report. Mm -hmm. Okay. Investigate the X-ray lightbox captive audience. Oh, you got a side objective selected right now. There you are. I was starting to worry. Congratulations on your appointment, Director Faden. I'm Helen Marshall, head of Bureau Operations. Zachariah is dead then, and I assume you found his gun. Just call me Jesse. Trench told me to find you. He said you could help. And he told you this through the hotline. Makes sense. None of this phases her? Really? Here's the situation. Darling created the HRAs in a lab nearby. We need more if we're gonna survive this attack. My rangers can't secure the lab alone. Not against those things. We need more firepower. At least she seems to know what's going on here. She could know about Dylan. I can clear out the hiss. I'll be your firepower. That's a good answer. Is she testing me? Darling has systems in place to protect his labs. This should help you get past them. We'll talk more after you clear out the hiss. Rangers, let her through. We'll have to lock the door behind you. Sorry, but we can't risk a breach. Okay. See you. You gotta change your mission. You have a side objective selected at the moment. So we go back down to, uh, what is it? Uh, old Boys Club. Let's go backtrack and do the side mission.
It's gonna be back, back through there, there, right? Pretty sure. on the healer because it just makes sure the enemy is a lot harder to take out. It's a big red ball. You can technically take him out if you do enough damage quickly, but it means you have to concentrate a lot more on them. Kinesiologist cheap is Oh yeah. He likes to throw back. No, this is like a like a one shot chance at the mini boss, I guess. I can explode it to like a billion fragments. Oh, maybe uh okay, yeah, let's set it off. Interesting.
Hey, this way like your allies respawn though. That's kinda nice. So it's like, like four, four of the big, big heavy, heavy explosives, explosives. if you use them strategically you can probably wear it down faster. This way to the lab? Okay. We must like these HRAs. Sounds like Darling built them. And most of the things around here. 
If Marshall can't help us with Dylan, he's our next best bet. Assuming he's not dead. Or taken over by the hiss. That's just a resource. Phil research on his entity, his warped agent, confidential. Summary, the his warped wield only paranatural abilities similar to drifters. They are able to telekinetically shield themselves with nearby material and launch objects at their targets. These entities are particularly destructive and difficult to kill, possibly indica indicating a greater internal reinforcement of his resonance. Why do certain his display paranatural abilities while others rely on bureau firearms? Do certain corrupted Entities have less potential than the hosts that become his warped, or is this perhaps an indication of evolution or maturation of the his corruption? Are there other stages of evolution yet to be found? What if the his inhabitants inhabits a host for a month, a year? Do hosts expire after a certain amount of time? Does the corruption become too strong for an organic body to endure? Only time and well-documented observation will tell. Refer to file redacted for full report. Let me hear. Any idea how to make it work? Hello again, Director. It appears we have a new problem. We need to get the HRA machine working. I've replaced a couple of spark plugs, but this looks a bit more complicated. Darling must have had a system. Randomness isn't in his nature. The punch cards, the symbols. Terminals. How do they connect? I'll see what I can do. So, you need to find all the punch cards. All the machines. Have you checked the upper floor? <laughs> no. 
Each punch card should correspond to a terminal. These whiteboard drawings may be important. Looks like he was working on something to do with these symbols. That's right. Just say the number on the machine. Just say somewhere around it. So you might have the correct card inserted in another machine. Oh, it's that one. Okay, I see. No, that was right there. Second one. Oh, wait, wait a minute. That's for. Oh, pull it. Pull it, pull it pull back. back. You need uh, a different one. Yeah, pull that one back. Okay. And then that's the one that goes in two. Uh, yep, that's right. One's right. Um, we want. Which one is this? Five. Uh, okay, five is correct. We got um, what do these three. Mean? Let me see the. Which one is in there? Um, three is correct. Where's four? Five, which is deemed fine. That's two, which is fine, and that's one. Where's four? Where's four? Is it, I don't think it's upstairs. Maybe. Double check, I guess, but I don't think so. Oh, it is. Okay. Well, you know. Alright. Four. There you go. There you go. Prism Shatter. Darling's prototypes have a lot of issues. We need a new plan. We need more Black Rock Prisms to make this machine work. Darling has another lab down in the Black Rock Processing Site and Maintenance. That must be where he keeps the prisms. I've been to maintenance already. I can find my way. But how long will that take? Nothing here is simple. I need to ask her now, before I go. I need something from you first. What do you know about Dylan Faden? I knew this was coming. Lives are at stake here, and we need this machine working to save those lives. Once that is done, Director Faden, then we can talk. She's right. As much as I don't want to admit it, 
I'm the only one who can help. Fine. I'll get the prisms first. Dylan, we'll have to wait just a little longer. But don't call me director. Jesse is fine. I'll call you fake. Here, you'll need this keycard. Thanks. Emily Pope has set up a base and executive. Once I have the prison, I'll meet you there. Right. I'll move out immediately. And keep an eye out for Darling. Finding him might be the key to stopping the hiss. It's just one large scale HRA. It's there now. We are about to be exposed to a different kind of resonance. Hostile, viral, invasive resonance. I think that's, that's what the Hedron resonance amplifiers are for. Taking the protection Hedron can provide us and keeping us from being wiped out. This will lead back to Central Music. Sounds Lisa. a lot like the voice actor for Odin. Uh, Drag me. Uh, really? I mean, I'm getting that. Interesting. Because he's, he's doing like a total Sopranos, Sopranos thing. I'll have to look it up and see who does the, the other voice in Ragnarok. Oh, he's totally... I mean... Oh, really? Resonance nice. Is the key. Vibration, frequencies, waveforms, fields we, we, we didn't know were there. <laughs> it's physics. These fields in complex interaction, altering reality that comes to contact with them. Hedron is communicating with me. He's trying to warn me of something imminent. I've been using every known method to analyze the data exposing myself to it i'm seeing things and overcome by compulsion it's it's not just data it's, it's protection it's benign we are about to be exposed to a different kind of resonance hostile viral invasive Resonance. I think that's that's what the Hedron resonance amplifiers are for. Taking the protection Hedron can provide us, and keeping us from being wiped out. Not positive, but I think the clips on the lapels are for the resonance amplifiers for their protection. Hard to say. Oh, this, this guy. That's Odin. Yeah. Uh, this one is Richard Schiff. Yeah, he's that's a cool actor. Well, that was interesting. It said that objects, objects of power are... Wait. Um, said that they're 665, which is like a running thing in, in uh, uh, Remedy 665, the neighbor of the beast. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, so that actually switch, switch your objective, objective to this, so, uh, unless you plan on, like, actually going to that, it's subverted your main objective. Alright, uh, utilization, something black rock prisms, summary, black rock prisms are unique formations of black rock that think both in their shape and potency. While the density of black rock dampens paranatural forces, the unique redacted structure of prisms retain frequencies in the range redacted to redacted hertz, with perfect redacted harmonization. 
This report analyzes the results of focusing a redacted through a harmonized prism onto a redacted. Methods for the imprinting of non-physical fields onto redacted, imbuing them with the properties of the harmonized residence redacted in the prism will be explored and explained. Refer to file redacted for full report. So, uh, we... Yes, yes. Uh, just, just got past, past the puzzle, puzzle that for some reason my brain, brain couldn't figure out. It took like a solid hour, 40, 40 minutes or something, something to do, do, but we cheated and uh, just, just zoomed right by it because we're really, really just focusing on the experience. Um, and the experience not, not being that, that of that we're really, really smart and can figure out the puzzles real fast. Um, so so uh, this, this is Mel Rock PDX. Commenting is Tony, and behind the controls, in control, is Daniel. We will catch you next time. Thank you. Bye.